So, we're talking about the Fellow Ode Grinder. Mine arrived yesterday. I ordered it at the beginning of November, and it's taken a while to get here, because, um, yeah, this is a UK one, and uh, there's been a bit of difficulty getting stuff into and out of the UK. It's been stuck at ports for a month and a half, and Coffee Hit, who I ordered it through, got delivery of it on Wednesday, and they shipped it out to me and I got it the next day. They have been, I have to say, I was a little bit, I was a bit disappointed initially that obviously it didn't come through when they'd initially promised, but their contact has been fantastic. They were prompt in getting out emails to say, look, we know it was meant to be here by now. Unfortunately, it's still stuck in ports. They updated me several times throughout and then they said, yeah, it's ready, it's gone. It'll be with you by Friday and it was with me on Thursday. So frankly, from that point of view, it's all good. And it's beautiful. It is very minimalist, very simple, very straightforward. But I just think it's a beautiful thing. Uh, even, even my mother-in-law noticed it. Now, she doesn't really notice any of my coffee stuff. She's not interested in coffee. But she picked up on the fact that it was a new grinder in the kitchen straight away. She thought it was a beautiful, lovely, wonderful thing. And yeah, it's good. People have made a real big fuss about this um, magnet thing and it's cool but I don't think it's I don't think it's the coolest thing one like it, it is cool I like it I actually the thing that I really like I'm gonna see if I can get my mic close enough to be able to pick, pick up on the chunkiness of this that grinder selection that's a really nice noise it's a nice feel there's something really tactile about that so first of all it's very small it's wonderful, it's, it's compact, it's taking up a lot less space on the counter. The elephant in the room that needs to be addressed is, it is just a coffee grinder. It will grind coffee to make coffee with. That's the, the be all and the end all of it. It is not going to make bad coffee beans suddenly taste amazing. It's not gonna make bad technique suddenly massively improved it will help you get a better grind out of good beans. So if you know how to make good coffee, if you can make good coffee and you're wanting to just take it that step a little bit higher, it's a great grinder. From what I've seen in the day and a half so far, the consistency of the grind is phenomenal. I tend to use a V60. I've been using a V60 switch recently um, and I've also got a V60 metal filter which I'm loving at the moment and the thing that I really notice is the bed just looks far less silty so there's there's far fewer fines in the grind it is quick and it is quiet so that's the other big thing so this big chunky dial there are only I guess there, there are only two sort of interaction points really you've got the big chunky switch on the front and helpfully they actually include in the lid a grind guide to help you sort of pick out. I know that there has been some concern that this actually isn't that accurate and moreover, I, I, I think I probably agree with the general consensus that it doesn't quite go as fine for grind over as I might necessarily like. I mean, it goes fine enough, but there's no there's nowhere to go. And then you've got the button to start and stop it just here. And you do have this uh, knocker just here, which uh, just helps knocks out any grinds from the bin. It's meant to be as close to zero tension as possible. It's not something that I am hugely fussy about. The biggest thing for me is the fact that it is a single dosing grinder, which I just love. I really like having different coffees on the go. I and mean, I've already put five or six different beans through it just to see how it goes. But um, yeah, let me just show you, when I say it's quick, let me just show you how quick it actually is. These are North Star beans. I've got these from Dog and Hat. Love Dog and Hat. If you're not aware of Dog and Hat, Dog and Hat, really good subscription service where they send you, I think you get three or two, three or four bags a month of a mix of either filter, espresso, or Omni Ground. They pick different grinders from across the UK, picking different coffees. And so every month you get a selection of hand-picked really interesting coffees with a fantastic little booklet that tells you like who they are and what they're trying to achieve and what they hope is is special about their coffee so yeah this is north start and this is a uh, el salvador 
Chalazos. I'm not even gonna, like, I just, I know I'm gonna offend somebody if I pronounce, if I try to pronounce that correctly. So yeah, I'll type it in the screen. It's nice, I've had a couple of cups of this already. So we've got 15 grams in here. Open the top, chuck that in, slide the magnetic catch in, and then we press the button. Pretty quick. A few things to note. So yeah, basically that's it. It grinds coffee nicely. That's what it does. That's the extent of it. It's good. It's much less messy and much less staticky than my old one. I'm gonna do a comparison in terms of timing against my old one in a moment or two. And about noise as well. So that was recorded just from my lapel mic, so that should give you some indication of how loud it actually is. I've seen a few concerns that it doesn't automatically stop, so it has this auto stop once it's worked out that it's stopped grinding, it turns itself off. In some cases, it takes 10, 15 seconds after that to actually turn itself off. I haven't found that at any point. One thing it does have is an annoying hum. Now, I don't know whether this mic will pick it up. Is it working? It's not that bad. It is a distinct noise. I've done some research online and a lot of people seem to say that it goes away after a few days. It may just be that it's something to do with shipping. It may be that it's to do with just settling in. I saw one guy that said he'd ground five kilograms of old stale coffee through it and after that the noise had gone away. It would take a long time to get through five kilos of coffee. It would just be a bit annoying because that's what? 12 batches per kilo, so you've gone through 60 batches. I just, yeah, they're, they're obviously seasoning their burrs and I know that that's an important thing to do, is it? But I'm hoping the, the hum will go away after a few days, as lots of other people have said. As for the noise, when it's in the kitchen, when I'm sat this close to it, I can really hear it. In the kitchen, generally, I don't notice it because the other noises in the kitchen, the noise of the, the fridge, humming noise of next door neighbors hoovering don't notice compared to that so that's absolutely fine so let me go and get my other grinder and then we'll try a, a noise comparison first of all you can see what i mean about the compactness is that a word you know what i mean this is much neater and prettier than this one and this is still nice actually i i, I have no particular issue with this one this is just so much cooler. They work in different ways. This does an automatic start-stop. This is all based on time. I know this takes 14.6 seconds to do 30 grams because I've had it long enough that that's what I know to set it at. Okay, so different coffee because this one is an older one that I've forgotten I had in the cupboard. Um, this is from Pact, another coffee subscription company. I'm not sponsored by Pact or Dog and Hat or Fellow or Sage. These are just the things that I choose to spend my money on. 30 grams into here and 30 grams into here. So just check they're actually getting 30 grams out of here. So, right. I think my microphone's about the same distance from both of these, so that should give us some indication of how noisy they are, so at least you can do a comparison. So, number one. That's the sage. This has always annoyed me about the Sage. That tray never stays in the right place. Yep, that's come out at 30 grams. And that took 14.6 seconds. Let's just check that this is gonna be exactly 30. Forgot to put the lid on. That is, it's an extra little step. It's just something you need to be aware of. And buttons on this side. I 
and that felt quicker. I did realize I didn't actually time that here. I'm gonna time it when I watch the video back. So you'll get to know the results at roughly the same time as I will. 30 grams, perfect. So, and that's basically about it. I'm gonna try it for longer. I'm gonna actually just run it for a little while and see how I get on with it on a daily basis and see what I think about it. If there's anything I really don't like, I'll tell you. That was actually, that was one thing that I did that I have noticed. You might have noticed in the videos. When this one goes, no movement. Think, well, no, I know it has conical burrs on the inside that are vertically uh, shafted, as it were. So they spin about the center. Because this has the vertical flat burrs, which spin that way, this moves quite a lot. Um, and it wasn't that bad in that one, but in some occasions, it's really given itself a good, it hasn't ever quite threatened to fall over, but it, it has kicked itself quite a long way uh, when you turn it on. Other than that, everything is all good. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I think it's lovely. I think it's sexy. I think it makes nice coffee. And I think that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. If you'd like more coffee content, please feel free to subscribe. There's lots of other stuff on the channel as well. If you like the video, please like it. If there are any questions about it that you'd like me to answer, please put them into the comments down below. And otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.